Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is BTC Kyle, and I am going to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 again. You're probably sick of it by now, but since I've already talked about it in the past, may as well talk about it again. No big deal, right? First, do you guys like the video quality? I just upgraded my camera. The audio quality probably sucks because I don't have a mic set up, so just keep that in mind. But what do you think of the video quality? I'm still tuning in the, the ISO and I'm messing around with my lenses and stuff and trying to get good camera angles, but comment below, tell me what you think. All right, back to the Note 7. So this company called Instrumental Technology, they released an article on why they believe the Note 7s were exploding. Based on what I've read and what they have showed in their diagrams and pictorials was the Note 7 was exploding due to not enough clearance or headroom within the battery cavity or the CNC'd uh, piece that's holding the battery, which is the phone. So I have my Note 7 right here. Probably think I'm crazy, right? So the battery is right here, right? And when they insert the battery, they should have some sort of tolerance or clearance. So if the battery does want to expand, it could expand into that cavity and expand in a healthy way without, you know, blowing up. So what instrumental technology is seeing is in their phone that they were examining, there was essentially zero, none. There, there was zero tolerance whatsoever. So you have the, you have the CNC'd milled aluminum, then you have the adhesive, and then you have the battery sitting on the adhesive that's sticking inside that cavity. And when the battery expands, it has nowhere to really expand. So you have this pressure that builds up. Okay, but why does that make the battery explode? Well, at first, Samsung thought they were making these batteries, the actual insulator between the anode and the cathode, too thin, which very well might be part of the issue but they were thinking that since it was too thin that the anode and cathode were shorting out. And when they short out, you have a, uh, a high current going through, which heats up and it causes the battery to expand, expand the phone to explode. So same sort of idea with having a cavity with pretty much zero headroom or tolerance is if you have a battery that expands and it has nowhere to expand, it's gonna push the insulator or the anode and cathode together and they're gonna wanna short out. And then once they short, they expand so much, it blows up the phone, right? But we'll have to see what Samsung has to say about it. Probably not gonna hear anything from them anytime soon until they're actually confirming what happened. I was kind of thinking this in the first place, but will I be returning my phone? I will absolutely return my phone, but I've had it for free. <laughs> and a lot of you were thinking like, okay, how can you buy a phone and have it for free? Well, when I return it, I'm gonna get the money back, right? And it's gonna be for free. And not only am I gonna get the money back, I'm going to get a $100 credit from Samsung applied to my account, which is awesome. When am I gonna return it? Eh, I don't know, pretty soon. I'm not gonna leave it in the sun. I'm not gonna leave it in my car. I'm not gonna leave it on a hot computer or anywhere hot. So I'll just be very careful. Definitely not gonna charge it overnight. I have a wireless charger, so I'm just gonna stick it on the wireless charger, monitor it, and I should be okay. But that's pretty much it. What do you guys think? Do you think Samsung is being too aggressive with their designs? Or do you think that it was just simply a mistake in the design of the phone? I don't know. I want to know what you guys think. Put a comment below. Like this video if you liked it. Like it if you think I'm stupid for still holding on to my phone. I know. I get it. I know. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see tech videos. I post tech videos. I'm going to start posting more often now that I got a new camera. And uh, yeah, that sums it up, guys. Have a great day. Peace.